Hello everyone, this is Steve from Vexsense. So fellas, are you looking for a signature fragrance that you almost wear in any situation and almost at any time? I think I have the fragrance for you. And this one is by 3-in-1 Parfums and this is their take on Chanel Allure O Extreme Sport. So overall the notes I get this one, I get um, musk, I get citruses, um, specifically more like orange, I would say, and pepper and tonka. And this is all very blended beautifully well here. So they did a good job of blending and making this fragrance because I definitely think it's definitely people pleasing smell and cologne. So price, performance, and projection. So the main selling point for me on this one was the price. This one on 301 Perfumes website, it goes for $23 for a one ounce bottle, as opposed to Chanel Allure Oak Stream for, for their 3.4 ounce, it is $128. So that's a big difference. Um, so I did want to give this one a try and I'm glad I did. So projection and performance. Now when I um, compare to projection and performance, I do notice some differences on this one though. So the projection on this one, um, the one thing I will say about Chanel's um, version of their cologne, um, it does, it is more rich and more full in the projection, I would say. But 3 in 1 perfumes do do a good job in the dry down. So they do a very good job in the dry down. And I do pick up pretty much similar fragrances after about the 20 minute mark, I would say. So when everything settles down, this one is a beautiful fragrance. So they do a good job on that. Performance. I get about five to six hours of the three in one perfumes as opposed to about seven to eight hours from Chanel's. Um, however, I would say between the five, six, seven, eight hour mark, whatever, um, it is more of a closer, you know, realm scent. So someone's getting your own realm to really smell you anyway at that point. So um, longevity, I think it's about the same. Everyone's skin's different. So performance and projection are very good. Um, Compliment factor. So this one is a compliment getter here. So is this one of those fragrance ones that in the air and you like kind of leave your sea lodge around and people smell you? You will leave a scent trail and it is very pleasant. So it is one that's very inviting. Um, just I call it the smooth operator fragrances when I put it in my top five summer fragrances. It's definitely one of those smooth operator fragrances. I mean, it's not a loud screamer, but once people get around you, you will draw them in. And I do have a kind of a somewhat cool story, funny story. So I did with us on a date during the summertime, a walk in the park. And the girl I was with, she kept asking me, what are you wearing? This smells so good, it smells so good. And eventually I did tell her, it's Chanel Allure Oak Stream. And she goes, that's why. She's like, my ex-boyfriend used to wear this one. So not a good thing for me. But for this cologne and 3-in-1 perfumes take on it, that, that's how close it is. So if she thought it smelled the same as Chanel or Stream Sport. So that means they did a very good job on the smell and the performance of this one because she couldn't really tell the difference. So A plus there for um, it smelling like it. And I, overall, like I said, they did a good job on that. So season and occasion to wear this one in. Um, the season, spring and summer, it shines by far the best. Um, you could get away from the fall time, but I do think spring and summer by far the best. And the occasion I would wear this one in is, the first occasion is summer, date, early evenings and evenings. Is this a real nice cologne, smooth um, magnet This is going to draw the lady into you. So it's definitely a great date fragrance, I would say, for the summertime. Um, other occasions, I would say definitely working casual. It's a good, easy, quick grab and go fragrance for the summertime too. So those are the main um, occasions I'm aware to send, but specifically date time, I think this one shines the best in. So, so final rating for this one, I give it eight out of 10. So I give it eight out of 10 because the performance, price and rejection, the three Ps, the most important, it does a pretty good job on all those ones. So price obviously knocks out the ballpark. $23 as opposed to $128. Um, performs well. And the projection is there. So it's funny because, again, when I spray it, I don't really smell it. But other people around you will smell it. But you won't choke them out because it is a pleasant fragrance. It's not one of those choke-up fragrances, but it's just a smooth fragrance. 
So also with that being said, the only neg main negative I'll give it to is that's not unique, I don't think. I do think there's fragrances like this one, but I can't really uh, pinpoint it though, but it's not really a unique fragrance or anything groundbreaking, but I do think it's like a smooth, nice fragrance that's gonna do the job in most, you know, type of situations you're gonna be in. So it's this very versatile cologne. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this cologne. Have you had any experience with this one, the three with the three in one perfumes version? Or the, the real Chanel Laura Oak Extreme version, sport version? Um, please remember to like and subscribe and have some comments down below. And remember to always stay fresh.